Hey, I'm Vicky, and if you are looking to boost your budget in time for Christmas, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna share with you some really simple ways that you can make extra cash for Christmas. Some of them you can do online, from your own home, in your own time. If you're anything like me, then December is possibly one of your highest spending months of the year. There's so many things that you need to be forking money out on. There's extra stuff at school, it seems. There's Christmas fairs, there's donations you need to give, there's presents that you need to buy for friends, family. If you're hosting Christmas like we do every year, then there's also Christmas food that needs to pay for, and the bill for that can run into hundreds of pounds when you include drinks as well. It's a lot, it's a lot to spend. And for that reason, I really, really like to try and plan my Christmas budget in the January so that I'm setting money aside in a sinking fund so that I'm prepared for it by December. But I think Christmas and the associated costs can really sneak up on you. And particularly with times as difficult as they are now, food costing so much, we've got winter energy bills to contend with as well. You're possibly wondering right now, even though we're only in September, maybe it's a bit of a worry in your mind how you're going to afford Christmas. So I'm gonna share 10 incredible ways that you can make money fast in time for December. So let's start with something really, really low maintenance, making sure that you are using store reward cards and schemes. With your reward cards, you can earn points, which you can then put towards your Christmas shopping. I always save up our Nectar and Club card points to put towards the Christmas food and drink. There's another really, really good reason why you should always be signed up to the loyalty scheme, to the reward scheme, for your supermarket of choice. These days, if you're going into places like Tesco and Sainsbury's and you're forgetting your rewards card, then you are making the retailer's day because you're gonna be handing them over pounds and pounds more than you would have done if you'd scanned your club card or your Nectar card. So it's, even if you hate these schemes, maybe you do, maybe you don't like the idea of the store having your shopping data, I totally get it, but not having them is costing you a lot of money now. If you look at, the normal price versus the club car price or the nectar price, the differences can be quite staggering. We can be talking several pounds depending on the item that you're buying. It really, really does add up and not having those store reward cards just doesn't make sense. So make sure you are signed up. If there is a shop that you frequent, make sure you're signed up. The recent one, the most recent one that I added to my phone was the Asda Rewards card, which actually is really, really good for Christmas because they have a specific Christmas savings element to the app. So if you're a regular shopper at Asda, you really, really should have the Asda Rewards card, the Asda Rewards app. And as part of their Christmas saver, you can put away 40 pounds or more and you'll earn a five pound bonus. And the bonuses are applied by November 24th. So you've still got time to do it. Maybe consider switching your regular supermarket shop to Asda, not only because of Christmas saver, but you will generally find that it is cheaper than Tesco and Sainsbury's. Not with every single product, but I did a little chat on Instagram about supermarket prices the other week because I was just so aghast at how much we, our supermarket bill had crept up and up. And the vast majority of people were telling me it's Asda for us. We use Asda, we love the Asda rewards scheme. We love the shop because obviously it's got the selection of brands which you don't necessarily get with Aldi and Lidl. And it's just cheaper than Tesco and Sainsbury's. So consider that if it's not too far out of your way. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind if petrol costs are going to cost you so much more getting to an Asda, then you've got to factor in if it's worth it for you. But if it is one of your local store options, why not give it a try? Give Asda Rewards a try. See if a Christmas cash pot could help you out. Another rewards card I added recently was BP Me. Now, generally, I don't really like filling up with petrol at BP just because it's one of the most expensive ones. However, sometimes it is occasionally the most convenient choice. I do sometimes just have to use BP because I'm in a rush, I've got the kids, we're going somewhere, I'm nearly out of petrol, I haven't been organized. So BP Me allows you to earn points towards Amazon vouchers and I've already earned 10 pounds worth of Amazon vouchers this year. So that's been well worth it. You could put that money towards your Christmas shopping. And on a similar theme to store awards is cashback. If you are shopping online or in a grocery store, you should be using cashback sites. And you don't have to shop online in order to take advantage of cashback. So just a quick explanation of what cashback is. This is where you use a cashback company to make a purchase. So they become sort of a third party in your purchase from a brand. And they will get you know a nice fee for having referred you to that brand and then they'll give you a slice of that. So that is how cashback works. Ultimately they're making money but they're passing some of the money that they make onto you. 
Probably the best known cashback sites are Top Cashback and Quidco, which you definitely should be signed up to. They're really, really good for online spending. However, there are some other cashback apps that I 100% recommend that you download right now and start using. One of them is Airtime Rewards. Now this isn't gonna be cash in your pocket. The money from Airtime Rewards goes towards your mobile phone bill. Now Airtime Rewards works with pretty much all of the major mobile phone providers in the UK. And how it works is quite simply, when you spend money with a partnered retailer with Airtime Rewards, you get money into a pot that goes off your mobile phone bill. Since I started using it, I have earned 150 pounds off my mobile phone bill. Honestly, it is so worth it. You really must download it. And then the other cashback app that you should definitely use is Jam Donut. And this is what I use for all of my supermarket shopping. So how Jam Donut works is you buy gift vouchers through Jam Donut for the retailer that you want to spend with. But you're not gonna gift those gift vouchers to anyone, you're gonna use them yourself to pay for your shopping. So you can use it at supermarkets such as Sainsbury's, Iceland, Morrison's, Tesco is on there as well, Aldi is on there as well. The next way to make quick, easy money for Christmas is to take a look at your current account and see if there are any deals that you can make by switching. Sometimes you can get 175 pounds, 200 pounds, just for switching your current account. The next very simple way to save money in time for Christmas is to take a good look at your budget. Now, obviously we're in the middle of a cost of living crisis. I'm sure that you are analyzing your budget to absolute death every single week, but take another look at it. Take a look at the subscriptions that you've got. I'm not saying necessarily get rid of those subscriptions. Maybe they're subscriptions that you use all the time, but is there any way to haggle them? For example, if you have Sky TV, can you call them up and say, look, I've seen that there's a much better deal at Virgin or one of the other providers. Can you match that deal? Or I've seen that you're offering new customers this. Now this only works if, the, if you're at the end of a contract, however, or if you've, um, you know, close to the end of a contract, but it's always worth doing. And actually I have a whole blog post about how to haggle down your Sky Bill, um, which it also would apply to other TV broadband providers. So that's definitely worth doing. And another tip, if you pay for subscription TV services like Now TV, when you go to quit Now TV, they will offer you a big discount immediately. So I think the biggest I've had offered off was like 60% off for the next three months. So if you want to keep Now TV, but you are not particularly happy with the amount you're paying for it, then consider quitting because there will be a couple of screens before they finally allow you to quit and every single time I have done it, they have offered me some money off. Well worth giving it a go. And another thing to consider when it comes to trimming your budget is having a no spend month in November. You could potentially save a lot of money on things like days out with the kids, snacks when you're out, drinks when you're out, maybe try and walk more instead of using the car. Just challenge yourself in November, this is what I'm gonna try and do, to spend as little as possible on all of those little things that kind of add up. You know, when you're at the park and the kids want a snack, you know, it's not the weather for ice cream at the moment, but they'll probably demand something when you're out and about. Make sure you just have something from home. That kind of thing really adds up over time. Look for free fun. Libraries have always got events on local events that might be free to enter or like a nominal fee to enter. Try to really, really trim back on those sort of weekend, after school, costs that can really add up over time. And I've been trying a lot more sort of fake away recipes recently to try and avoid spending money on the takeaways that we've been spending on. So typically we're quite, we're not too bad with takeaways. We have like two a month generally. However, it does really add up. And our favorite Indian takeaway is so expensive. We normally spend over 50 pounds on it. But we recently found a recipe for this really delicious sort of lamb curry dish that we get from our local Indian takeaway that we can make at home. And it actually, look, it's not the same. The takeaway does do it better, but it, it hits the spot, you know? It, it deals with the craving for that particular thing. So that's saving us money over time because we're cutting back on those takeaways. As we head into Christmas, I always like to have a bit of a clear out to make way for some of the things that the kids will get for Christmas. We're very, very lucky the kids have very loving relatives that buy them lots of new things at Christmas, but it always creates a bit of a challenge with space. So I like to have a clear out just before Christmas to make a little bit of room for that stuff. Online auction sites like Vinted are perfect for toys and for clothes. I've had some really, really great luck with Vinted recently. It's one of my favorite places to sell stuff. I suppose my one, my one criticism of Vinted would be that I think the buyers very much expect a real bargain price, so you may not get the be best price 
for the thing that you're selling on Vinted. Another one to try is Facebook Marketplace. That again, like Vinted, isn't gonna charge you fees for your listing, unlike somewhere like eBay. One way I'm gonna be earning extra money for Christmas is with survey sites. It's incredibly easy to do in your spare time. The sites that I really like to use are Prolific and Swagbucks. They're both websites where you can get a payout in a reasonably short space of time. With survey sites, the best way to make a decent amount of money on a regular basis is to sign up to several survey sites because you won't necessarily get an invite to a new survey every single day with the individual sites. But if you sign up to several, then you're, you're gonna be making a few quid a day spread out over those sites. I've got a whole blog post all about my favorite survey sites and I'll link that in the description below. Next up, and this is vaguely connected to survey sites, is referrals. You can make extra money by referring friends to the cashback apps and sites that you use by referring them to the survey sites that you use, such as Swagbucks. Swagbucks has got a really good referral program. What you could do is just get a group of you and say, look, like, let's try all these different ways that we can make some extra money and just agree that you will share out the referrals among you. Get your family and friends involved so that you can all boost your budget a little bit in time for Christmas. And one of my favorite ways to make extra money is with freelancing. And there are a ton of freelance opportunities online on websites such as Fiverr. Sign up tell them what your skill set is, look for opportunities. There is a huge array of different types of things that you could do there from voiceover work to graphic design if you are particularly talented in that area. So many different things that you could do to make some extra cash. And other freelance work that is easier to come by at this time of year is delivery work. Companies like Amazon are much, much busier. Amazon has their Amazon Flex system, which is where they employ delivery drivers on a part-time freelance basis. You can sign up to as many shifts or as few shifts as you would like to do in that month. I think there is a cap on how much work you can do in a month, but obviously at Christmas, they are much, much busier. There will be much, much more potential work in your area in the run up to Christmas with Amazon. Other companies that you can do freelance delivery work for include Deliveroo and Just Eat. And a final way to make money in time for Christmas is to flip stuff. Flipping involves buying something for a reasonable price that you know you're gonna be able to resell for a profit. So it could be that that item needs a bit of work done to it. It could be a piece of furniture that needs a bit of work done on it. Maybe it needs new drawer handles. Maybe it needs a coat of paint. Flipping stuff for profit really is about having a good eye for items and knowing confidently that you're gonna be able to sell something for a profit. So some people specialize in particular types of things, say books, because they know what is a rare book, what is a book that they can sell. One thing that I've seen people doing increasingly to make a bit of extra cash, which I think is genius, is offering to sell people's clothes, unwanted clothes on Vinted for them, and then keeping a slice of the profit for themselves. Some people just don't necessarily have the time to photograph all the stuff, they don't have the time to list the stuff, they don't have the time to post it. So they're happy to pass it on to someone for that person to keep a share of the profits once the stuff is sold and then be paid for their items. So that's another thing to consider. Okay hey guys, I really, really hope that you enjoyed these ideas for making extra money in time for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next upload. Bye.